In this movie, we will introduce Advanced Nano Labo, an integrated GUI for nanomaterials, developed by Advanced Soft Corporation. Also, we will show demonstration of Young's modulus calculation with Advanced Nano Labo. The structure of this movie is as follows. Firstly, we will introduce features of Advanced Nano Labo. Secondly, we will demonstrate how to calculate Young's modulus of nickel single crystal on Nanolabo. Finally, we will explain product information. Besides, links of each chapter in the description is available. Please note that you can watch articles of analysis cases and demonstration movies of advanced Nanolabo from the link in the description. Now, we will introduce features of advanced Nanolabo. Advanced Nanolabo is an integrated GUI for nanomaterials analysis via first principles calculation and molecular dynamics. The available solvers on Nanolabo are followings. Advanced Phase, which is first principles calculation software developed by our company. Quantum Espresso, which is open source software for first principles calculation and LAMPS, open-source software for molecular dynamics. Main features of Nanolabo are followings. On Nanolabo, you can search and download structure files from the Materials Project and online database. Settings of calculation on Nanolabo can be done extremely easily. Nanolabo has useful and various modeling functions. Nanolabo visualizes calculation results instantly. Moreover, Nanolabo can train neural network potentials when cooperating with Advanced Neural MD, which is developed by our company, and execute molecular dynamics using the trained neural network potentials as force field. Nanolabo will solve these problems. If you are interested in DFT calculation or molecular dynamics but feel hesitant to begin, you can execute calculations immediately on Advanced Nanolabo. If you are struggling to editing input files, you can edit them on GUI easily, and default values are set automatically. If you have difficulty to create files of complex structure, diverse and easy modeling functions are implemented on Nanolabo, and enable you to create complex structures such as interface models and polymer models immediately. If you can't be bothered to visualize results on log files, you can visualize results on Nanolabo instantly. We show the list of main functions of Nanolabo version 2.8 here. Various modeling functions and many calculation functions are available. For LAMPs, you can use classical fields, general force fields such as Open Catalyst and M3 GNET, and neural network potential trained by Advanced Neural MD as force field. Furthermore, visualization functions, job submit functions, and cooperation functions with Python are available. New feature of version 2.8 is Jupyter Interface for Nanolabo. This interface enables you access Jupyter Lab from Nanolabo. You can send and receive structure files between Nanolabo and Jupyter Lab interactively. To use this function, separate license contract is necessary. Then, we will demonstrate how to calculate Young's modulus of nickel single crystal. Young's modulus is a measure of stiffness of a material. For details, please visit the link in the description, where we introduce an analysis case of calculation of anisotropic Young's modulus. We will execute molecular dynamic simulation of nickel single crystal under uniaxial loading and estimate Young's modulus from the results. Firstly, I prepare the first configuration for molecular dynamic simulation. So, I search and download structure files of nickel from Materials Project, an online database, using Materials Finder on the top right. Six structures including only nickel atoms are displayed. I select the MP23, which is FCC structured. I select the modeler function from the menu on the bottom left. Then, I open the lattice tab. 
I will generate super cell model with 111 crystallographic orientation from the unit cell model. So, I enter Miller index in each input field of super lattice and click the build button. Then, the lattice vectors are redefined and the super cell model with 111 crystallographic orientation is generated. The lattice vectors are not parallel to the Cartesian coordinate axis, so I click the refine button of the lattice vectors. Then, lattice vectors become parallel to the Cartesian coordinate axis. Then, I open the cell tab. To generate supercell, I enter 6, 6, 4 in the input field of the scaling of supercell and click the build button. Then, supercell model with 4032 atoms is generated. Then, I reflect the changes on the input files. The supercell model with 111 crystallographic orientation has been constructed easily like this. Then, I change the solver to lamps from the menu on the bottom left. I open the force field of the menu on the bottom right, and I select which force field to use. I select EAM force field for this demonstration. Then, to store a force field file, I save the project from the menu on the bottom left. I click the Select Potential File button and select the EAM file of nickel included in Nanolabo. Then, I set the calculation scheme from the scheme of the menu on the bottom right. I will set the equilibration scheme as the first scheme and then set the uniaxial loading scheme as the second scheme. The default setting is structural optimization, so I delete that by the cross button. For this demonstration, I select NPT Ensemble. I set time step as 1 femtoseconds and select isotropic as the restriction of cell deformation. Then, I click the apply button to add the equilibration scheme. Then, I set the number of steps of uniaxial loading scheme as 1 million and click the apply button. Then, I open the option of the menu on the bottom right to set the detail of uniaxial loading. I select the second scheme as the target scheme and open the deform cell tab. I select all as the target group. As needed, you can define any group of atoms by the plus button on the groups tab and select the defined group as the target group. Then, I set the velocities of deforming along the A-axis, namely, 111 direction as 0.001 angstrom per picosecond. Then, open the users of the menu on the bottom right. In this screen, I enter the additional settings into the input file. The text entered in this field is added to the input file automatically. For this demonstration, I added the text to compute virial stress along the x direction, namely, 111 direction, which is defined as sigma xx. Then, I click the plus button and enter v sigma xx in the variable list to output and plot the sigma xx. Then, I select the run from the menu on the bottom left. In the screen displayed before calculation, you can edit the input file directly to describe commands not implemented to Nanolabo. Besides, the text entered in the user's screen is added here. Then, I edit the fix command in the second scheme to keep the pressure in y and z direction 0 GPa because I intend to calculate uniaxial stress. Then, I execute the calculation. Please wait just a minute until the calculation is done. The calculation has been done. Just by clicking this button, you can export the results as a CSV file. Also, 
you can check the graph of these physical quantities instantly by clicking these icons. Moreover, the change of the V sigma xx, the variable I defined earlier, can be visualized too. It can be seen that the stress along x direction is kept around 0 GPa for the first 200 picoseconds, namely, the equilibrium scheme. On the other hand, the stress along x direction increases linearly after 200 picoseconds, namely, for the uniaxial loading scheme. Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of stress to strain, so it can be calculated by fitting linear function to stress-strain relationship. From the calculation results, Young's modulus in x direction is obtained of 263.5 GPa. For details, please visit the link in the description where we calculate Young's modulus along not only 111 direction but also 100 and 110 direction and compare the calculated values with the reported experimental values. That's all for the demonstration of calculation of Young's modulus. As we demonstrated, you can execute molecular dynamics and calculate various physical quantities on Nanolabo. Finally, we show product information. Nanolabo can operate on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Calculations can be executed on not only local machine but also calculation servers or clouds. For Nanolabo, Trial Edition, Base Edition, and Pro Edition are available. To use Jupyter Interface for Nanolabo, separate license contract is necessary. Nanolabo Pro version 2.8 offers Interface Modeler and Polymer Modeler as additional functions. On Windows or Mac OS, Node-locked license is available. On Linux, Floating license is available. License prices are as follows. Please feel free to contact us for detailed information or demonstration. This is all for the movie. Please watch other movies and visit homepage from the description. Thank you for watching.